Okay, time now to go to where most people say technology and design really was born and that is here in Europe and especially in countries like the the amazing way that they really make everything so simple, straight, sleek, clean lines was all originated from these countries. Today we're going to take a trip down to the design museum. This happens once a year where literally lots of companies that have fantastic design and technology and other things come together. So lots of treats for you coming up. But right now, let's take a look first at Helsinki. Like I said, this is the land of white knights. <laughs> This is where our journey starts. This is high design in the world capital of design, Helsinki. And now for some equipment that has always fascinated me only because of one reason. I always believe there should be more innovation in this because most of our experience with this is frustrating. And that, as we call it in India, a lift or an elevator. Now this from Kone changes everything. Remember, every single lift works on a motor. And where is that motor housed? It's housed above the building. So if you make a building, you have to have another floor on top where you house the motor. Well, Kone changes all that. Look up there, a green thing on the side, yes, only taking a very small thin space on the side, Kone has been able to put in an entire, entire motor, which means if you have a three floor house, you only need three floors to have a lift, not a fourth. Plus, this one has a silent lift off. So even if you've got a very, very, very tall building, you'll never ever feel it. It takes off very, very slowly. Beautiful materials inside. Come, I'm going to show you. Now, I've been told that the materials inside are a beautiful texture, bluish kind. Let's see if it actually lives up to expectation. Looks nice. Now, this is nice, very, very nice. But now for that final test, you're going to ride with me. Tell me, did you feel a jerk? Let's go up. Now, We've taken off. I didn't feel a thing. This was as silent as an elevator can ever be. Now let me show you the motor in close-up. Now this is what I mean. You can see it right here, that green thing that I showed you from downstairs. That's the entire motor that is controlling the entire elevator. And it's only taking one side, only one side. Now believe me when I say this and all you architects and others will know what I'm talking about. Just to get an elevator into a building, you needed to have a second floor on top. I mean the highest floor of the building, build one more just to get the motor, an entire floor has been now reduced to this. This, I think, is a radical change, one that is a game changer in every way possible. So this is where I think all of us will be riding in elevators like this very, very soon. Welcome to my house. This is the most green house in the world because everything runs on solar panels. And not only that, everything runs on solar panels like you saw the one on my roof. I can monitor everything that's happening. Remember, solar panels do not work in isolation. It's not as if one solar panel comes down to one bulb and lights it. You have to store that energy through the day so you can work it at night. And this is how it will happen. These are the kind of modules, these wireless little things that you'll have that will tell you everything about your working in the house. It will tell you how much you've stored, how much electricity you have. Will you have to go back to your own grid of normal electricity? Do you have enough to last one night, two nights, three nights? Everything, including that panel, this panel, this entire house is solar powered. And one day, one day in the future, we all will have houses just like this.
Now behind me is an electrical car, a car that runs on electricity. So that is very, very nice, right? Save the earth, go green and all of that. But have you really thought of the intricacies of this? This guy will save you a lot of fuel. But where are you going to charge it? I mean, your home doesn't really have the kind of charging this needs. It needs a charging station. And what if you're out somewhere, out and running out of fuel? How will you charge it then? Well, with this guy. This is the kind of thing that will be dotting the surface of earth all over. All you have to do is activate it. So let's say this is in your house, cool. There's a cable that comes in, plug this right in, it'll start charging. But this is also going to be all over town. How do you use it? You'll have to pay something for this, right? Electricity, not free, especially not in India. Well, it'll work in many ways. You can send an SMS, it'll give you a code, enter it, it'll open, it'll know, and it'll charge you. Or you could have an RFID card. So many different ways of doing it. But this is our future, the charging of electrical cars. I mean, look at this guy. Now, this is what we call some serious firepower in every possible way. This is an armored vehicle. It's also an amphibian vehicle that can go into water. You can actually adjust the entire suspension. It can go over objects up to, I think, some one meter, two meters. It can just fly over it all. The best part, and I want this in my car, even if I can't get this as my car, every single tire, and remember, it's an eight-wheel drive, every single one of them, can adjust on the fly the amount of air pressure inside just with a button from inside it can adjust the air pressure required for the kind of driving in an area or terrain that you're in now tell me tell me any one of you out there who doesn't want this one parked in his garage india's number one news app just got even better download NETV's new app fully optimized for retina display full screen view faster response time and Sudoku NDTV's new iPad app download now